I just finished doing uh, an interview. This one was it was hot. <laughs> I'm coming out just to. Hi guys, yeah yeah yeah, welcome back. You know what? Me gisting you about this current interview and neglecting the previous one, I don't think is cool. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to gist you right now about the last interview. Then maybe some other time we will not talk about this particular one because guys, my head is still very hot from this particular interview. In fact, I'm still sweating. Let me not lie. Do you? <laughs> It was hot okay but let's just about the uh the last one i went for not today's own the last one i went for uh the oral interview okay let me start from where should i start from okay just in case you're new to this channel and you don't know me my name is princess anu and on this channel we talk about aviation motivation and adventure and for now i changed location because obviously most of all the interviews are always in lagos so for now i'm in lagos yes position reports <laughs> okay okay that's by the way let's get serious okay i went for that interview and it was on a was it on a weekday on a weekend i think it was on a friday or something you see that's why it's good to talk about these things on time before you forget about it okay why is this dog making noise hush <laughs> i think i should close this door so it will not disturb us Okay, guys, as I was saying, before the door interrupted. <laughs> okay, so it was on a weekday. Yeah, if I can remember, it was on a weekday. And I got that message that I was invited for an interview. Now, this time around, I got to look at it properly. And it was an oral interview. And I was like, yeah, I think we are there. So what did I do? I What did I wear? I actually wore my uniform. As you can see, my tie, my white and black. Yeah, my white and black. I didn't wear my bars. Yes, because that's kind of inconsequential when you're going for interviews these days. And uh, what else did I wear? Obviously, a black shoe. Like, my uniform completely. But I obviously wore um, a cardigan on it. Because from my location, if I was driving myself, I would not need to wear a cardigan. But wearing your uniform, walking around, everybody seeing you, I don't think it's too cool. Because you're supposed to be, you know, in a cool ride. You understand? Like... <laughs> Anyways, that's by the way, but actually, since I was going with a public vehicle, so I had to wear, you know, something to cover my uniform, so that one, it doesn't get dirty, and two, everybody doesn't see me in my uniform on the road. So, uh, that's by the way. Then, the next thing is that when I got there, they gave us a form to fill, and that form they gave us to fill, they asked a lot of questions, questions about you, your family, if you've worked before, your current place of work. They asked about, uh, they even asked about my parents, where they live, they asked about my brothers, they asked about, what else they asked about? Uh, they just asked things, that, that form was basically things about yourself, and that's the form they're going to use to interview you. So, when we got, they presented the form to the CEO of the company, and the person looked at the form and from there that's where they start asking you questions from so they're like okay have you worked in social place before okay what's your salary they even ask yes they ask, ask you in that form like how much do you want a salary you get that kind of stuff like how much do you want a salary and have you been earning before what's your current salary that kind of a thing so they ask those kind of questions so when i got into the place i sat down so the first thing they started from that form to ask me about myself okay where do my parents live another verbal accent like yes they have seen it in the paper but they also want to know like they want to know more about you basically so they asked me about that then i think they use that to kind of um make you not to feel so tensed because those questions are not questions that you have to be thinking thinking like they are just natural questions so you obviously answer them in a natural way the next thing that happened was that they not told the other person because there was also a captain there to ask technical questions as in guys let me tell you that was when my head did big big not because i was not expecting technical questions okay let me go say the truth i was not expecting technical questions because i already asked i'm like i asked some people that i knew that were working in that airline i'm like 
please do they ask technical questions and they're like no 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 don't worry you're not going to ask technical questions you just want to know about you so i kind of read but i didn't read in such a manner that i was expecting technical questions i'm being sincere but when i got there come on i did not for your hands too much eh? <laughs> Okay, what was first question they asked me? They asked me the track. Then, okay, because you don't know what is in the examiner's mind. First of all, I wanted to be using the 360 degrees, that is the lines running from 360 degrees. No, okay, I wanted to use the diagram of, you know, track actually has two arrows, wind has three arrows, the heading has one arrow. If you always know the normal diagram we use in navigation. So I first used that. They're like, no, they want, how can you explain it to a layman? okay i tried to give another explanation and he now bought trust and gave okay okay that's cool and i gave his own explanation then the next thing after the axe track the axe heading obviously where the aircraft the place the aircraft is facing heading then they asked what is v1 decision speed they asked me that question they asked uh what is track made good guys track made good I'm sure even pilots are flying now. If you ask them track me, they will waste time for the <laughs> But guys, seriously, they asked me track made good. And I'm like, I could remember like division. So I didn't really give a correct answer to that. So the interviewer got to explain it better to me and I was like, okay, okay, yes, sir. So it was okay with that. that. He said, wait, you've not been reading your book or what? You know, after I asked that track made good question. But I was like, okay, we said, and um, so I felt okay. Then that that what made me feel bad. Like when he said you've not been reading your book, like I felt good because of this track made with question or what have I done today? <laughs> but you know what? In interviews, you don't give up. You don't give up because not because of one question. You just feel your vibes. No. And I felt I was caught on our ways because I wasn't expecting that, but at least I could say something. I was happy I could say something. Then they asked generally, like, where do you see yourself in the next five years? How do you, are you going to be faithful to the company? Um, are you asked just to see your commitment to the airline? Like if you are given the opportunity to actually work with them, are you going to give it your best? And I talked about myself. I was like, this is that, you know, you also want to be able to say the truth, build your, build the airline's confidence in you. But most importantly, like we all want to become captain someday. We all want to go to the next level and all that. And all. So I could just talk and basically that was how that interview went the oral interview to be specific i had so, another one uh just recently in fact the time now that i'm filming this video i just finished an an interview and i'm going to just you guys about that one but i need my head to kind of cool down but I, I always like to leave an advice to anyone going for interviews tests and all that don't take anything for granted i'm going to be telling you sincerely don't take anything for granted don't feel that let me just let me just go for going sick no give it your best whether you want to go there or you don't want to go there just make sure you give it your best and if you give it your best obviously you'll come out the best i don't know but it works trust me it works so 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 until until we get a letter like I think until you start flying someone told me even when you get an employment letter like don't feel relaxed until you're in that cockpit and you are flying your logging hours because there are a lot of persons that uh, get the letter even go for the typewriting come back and they don't get to fly or maybe they come back and they even start the airline training because you know airlines will definitely do their own training they start the training and they still don't get to fly so don't uh don't just relax that's what i'm trying to say don't relax just in case you're also in the job search flying job search i like to use our flying job search yeah i'll tell you why i'm using that one later but if you're still in the flying job search phase don't give up keep pushing so guys till i see you next time on the same channel keep watching princess at the tv and i'm going to be keeping you guys updated bye love you all